What's going on guys? It's your host, the Gaming Master, and today we're gonna be going through the secret but not exactly secret boss of Kingdom Hearts 3. Now before we fight this guy, I want to show you my initial setup before we actually face him. So the keyblender will be using the ultimate weapon. The Supreme Keyblade. It's changed every time in every Kingdom Hearts game I've failed to lose I've failed to lose track. But in this game it reigns supreme. Its abilities Yeah. It has a lot of abilities. And the strength of it is 13 and the magic is 13. And what's unique in this game is you can power up your keyblades with four different with four different materials. So if you go in the items category, here are the items that you use to power up your keyblades. Actually, wait. Uh, where are they? I could have sworn I had them. Sorry. Yeah, whatever. So the items you would use to power up your keyblades are fluorite, Damascus. Adamantite and Electrum. My stats to fight this secret boss 92 strength, 97 magic, 80 defense. I'm definitely gonna be whooping someone's butt. So, without further ado, let's take on Battlegate 14 that holds this secret boss. Powerful adversaries lie beyond this gate. Enter and meet them in battle. Sora must face this challenge alone. Of course, I'm always ready. To be fair, most of the community have already found a way to cheese this secret boss. And because attack man is very linear and he's pretty easy to dodge. Plus it's pretty easy to figure out when to punish. Like he's actually one of the easiest secret bosses. I don't count um I don't count Vinius's remnants being an easy boss because in no way shape or form is he easy. He's pretty hard hitting. This guy hasn't got the same ordeal, but he's actually pretty easy and pretty... He's actually really typical. Like, if he charges at you, that's a perfect time to counter. But most of the community that plays Kingdom Hearts 3 has this guy narrowed down to a science. Which, I don't blame them. It's the pretty easy. It's the easiest secret boss in the entire game. The hardest secret boss has to be either the unknown or I would have to assume mm, maybe Terra's lingering will. Terra's lingering will has been a challenge sometimes. Maybe because of attack pattern changes every time. He's actually been pretty forgiving. Look at that. We just started and he's basically on his second to half HP bar. You see how easy this guy is? And all of his attacks you can block, except for a few. That's 
This you can block. That you can't. But that you can. And that's it. Yeah, this Seeker boss is an absolute joke. I kid you not. This guy's arguably the stupidest Seeker boss that Square Enix could have probably ever made. They should have kept it. They should have kept it at Venus's Remnant and the Unknown. I just left it at that. They should not have made a secret boss as easy as this. Plus, there's two ways you can gimmick him. One, magic. Two, keyblade strikes. I'm gonna show you each way. The first one, just keyblade strikes. This time, magic. Magic galore. He's basically gonna get cheesed. I had to watch behind you. Yeah, look at that. He has taken so much damage from the fire. It's absolutely ridiculous. And if he strikes back, I can always heal, so, I mean... What's that to love? This is really easy to dodge. You just have to jump. This is easy to block. That's easy to block. You see what I mean by easy boss? He's super hard. He's super easy to read. Once you have his attack pattern down, he gets really easy. I'm just gonna spam cast Blizzard. Aww. He tanked it. Whatever. Also, here's a little secret in his first two states. You can damage him with fire, but in his third state, you can't. Little strange, but hey, whatever. So here come the fire spams. See? Now he's in his red state, which means fire no longer affects him. But ice does, as well as thunder. Which is exactly what my shortcut build is. I could end him with Blizzard, or I could end him with Thunder. I personally prefer Blizzard, because he needs to mm, chill out. We're getting too fired up. Yes, that was the joke. Basically, get hurt. Wait, why was I in items? I don't need to use items. <laughs> Whoops. I have not taken a single hit yet. Not a single one. Oh, you're doing this. Just keep swinging blindly. Oh, I thought I got hit. Oh, I got hit. Whatever. Happens to the, happens to the most of us. Wait, what? That didn't kill? Hmm. 
Um. Hmm. I wonder. Will Thunder kill him? I'm curious. I'm curious. Can a Thunder actually kill him? And not a Blizzard. Thunderstruck. That's the wrong element. Thunderstruck. Yeah, mm. that works. Mm. Well, that's the Seeger boss. As you can see, he is, well, very easy. There really is no point in fighting this guy because the only thing he gives you, after being him once, is this Crystal Regalia, which gives you MP Hestega, 5 Strength, 5 Magic, and 16 Ability Power. This you get after getting 30,000 on all of the Flanniverse, on all the Flans, the Strawberry, Blueberry, Grape, whatever. It gives you 4 Strength, 4 Magic, MP Hysteria, and MP Thrift. One gives you 0 AP. The Mickey class you earn after gaining every treasure and every lucky emblem. It gives you 3 strength of 5 magic, MP Stega, and endless magic. So, it's obviously one of the best. In... This is obviously one of the best setups. But, that's about it. That's all I gotta show in this episode. There really is nothing else to do because, well, this enemy is pretty easy. So, I guess I'm gonna call this video a wrap. Anyway, this is Gaming Master signing out. Peace.